In episode 64 of The Happy Writer, I'm going to give you my thoughts about AI narration and how and where I think we can use it right now. Of course, this is going to be outdated very soon. AI narration is the concept where you get a program with an artificial voice to read your audiobook for you. The rumor goes that it will soon be, or is already, good enough to do this on a large scale. There are many different options available online to have your work spoken out loud. Google Play has this option, and at the moment it's free. There is, of course, Amazon Polly, and there is an online option called Deep Zen, and no doubt there will be many others. In most cases, you get the option of different types of voices. The people whose voices are used are properly compensated for the use of their voice. Some people have even created doubles of their own voice for practical reasons. These are usually narrators or podcasters, and having the voice double helps them with edits. As author, you can also hire the production of AI narration out to other companies. This is just to illustrate the wide range of options available when it comes to AI narration. But it seems to me that many authors particularly those who balk at the cost of human narration, think that they can hang out to wait for AI narration because it's going to be so cheap and it's going to be widely acceptable right away. Do I think this is the case? Should you wait until AI narration becomes so good that you can just use AI narration for audiobooks in order to sell them online? Can you even do that now? Is it a good thing? Of course, there are all kinds of pros and cons for this, and I will address them at the end. But first, I'm going to talk a little bit about the process and tell you where the current pain points are. When you use human narration, you get a human to sit in a recording booth and record them reading the book. They will probably go through an edit taking out the parts where they flubbed up or maybe re-recording a few sections or taking out sections that they already re-recorded. The file then goes to mastering. This is an electronic editing process that takes out some of the impurities that makes the file comply with the standards of the audio platforms. They look at things like extraneous noises, but also the loudness and variability in loudness to make sure that all their audiobooks meet a particular standard. For those who think that mastering is something mysterious, it is not. Once you have decided on your parameters, it's more or less a set and forget thing. You run the file through a couple of plugins and that's it. If you're careful about recording, your file won't need a huge amount of external mastering, at least not to meet the platform's guidelines. When you use AI narration for your book, you have to choose a voice, and then you have to manually mark up your manuscript for made-up or unusual words and for intonation. When a human reads a text, he or she uses that amazing human organ that makes us unique, the brain, and because the brain is such a beautiful thing, the brain comprehends meaning when we are reading. It comprehends changes in pace and changes in tone. It can comprehend the difference between two different words that are nevertheless spelt the same and pronounced differently in different contexts. Things like desert and dessert, for example. Before you give a file to have an AI narration produced of good quality, you have to manually mark all this. You have to mark for loudness or softness or speeding up for emotion if the software allows that. And so you have to go through your manuscript with a fine tooth comb and look at each and every word. Then you haul it through the generator and you probably find you have forgotten a few things or things that didn't work or places where the software just mangled words for no obvious reason. There is extensive proofing involved, much more than for human narration. Honestly, I usually just listen to my human narrated chapters when I'm on a walk. You probably couldn't do that for AI. I presume that you can already see where I'm going with this, namely that producing AI narration is not a simple press of the button it requires an extraordinary amount of preparation, of proving and reading back. And this, sadly, is work that only a human can do. 
Some of it is work only you can do because you have to give the computer a list of pronunciations that are difficult or unusual or that for some reason it just cannot get right. I have done a little experiment with this. When I get a computer to read my manuscript back to me, it won't just be the made-up words that it has difficulty with. In fact, sometimes it gets the made-up words correctly. It might also have issues with other words for often no apparent reason. You would only find this out in the proofing stage, so you have to proof this very, very, very carefully. Hopefully your AI will learn this from you having corrected it once, but I'm not sure how much I would trust it. After all, as humans we use our brains and we can make subtle distinctions that are far beyond a computer's ability. When you give a manuscript to a narrator, they will get a few things wrong and they will sometimes even pronounce a few things in a way that's unexpected to you. But sometimes this has more to do with their dialect than that they are wrong. A human mispronounces a word for a reason. It's either a cultural reason or one that feels natural because everyone is doing it. For example, mispronouncing commonly used French words in the English language. You can then decide whether you're going to be a stickler for the correct pronunciation, if there is such a thing, or you're going to let it slide, because the way they pronounce it is an accepted pronunciation, just not the way you would have chosen it. But when a computer mispronounces a word, it will just be a random word and there will be nothing natural about it. It is simply something that has to be fixed for the sake of the quality of the manuscript. I guess by now you realize that this is an extraordinary amount of work and that you either have to do this yourself or pay someone to do it. All of this makes it that producing an AI-narrated audiobook to a decent quality is not as cheap as people would expect. It can be marginally cheaper, but still very similar to costs I've paid for a human narrator. So, what are we really competing on if we want to use AI narration? We are trying to reduce costs to us, but in the market, the market doesn't care about what something costs us, as long as the quality is acceptable. But we cannot compete on quality with human narration. Some of the AI-generated narration is quite good, but it comes nowhere near a human in the area of expressing emotion and subtle varieties in speed and tone. People who love their audiobooks do this because of the performance, and the performance includes the narrator's interpretation of the work. The only way AI narration can get close to this is if technicians put in a lot of work into generating similar emotions. I have no doubt that it's possible, but I'm not sure how much money you would save and whether it would really be better than human narration. So, seeing as we're not competing on quality, are we competing on price? None of the major audio platforms allow AI narration. At the moment, Kobo and Google Play allow AI-generated audio to be sold on their platform, but to be honest, neither of them are major markets in the audiobook sphere. ACX and Finaway Voices distribute audiobooks to the vast majority of the outlets, so your scope to sell the narration at the moment would be quite limited. ACX also sets the price that you can charge for your audio, and while it is quite expensive, the proportion of sales you will get through direct sales on the Audible platform is very small and shrinking by the minute. Everyone just uses their monthly credits, and you get paid far less for that. Most people get audio through subscriptions. On Findaway Voices, you can set the price for your audio, and this means that a lot of people already do. Some people like to stick to the $24 or $20 that ACX charges for an audiobook, but many other people already make their audiobooks quite cheap or even free for the first in series. Also, when people get audiobooks on subscription models, they don't physically need to pay for them. They just pay the monthly fee and the book itself is then free. 
So price is not a very good thing to try to compete on because that model is already smashed with the vast amount of subscriptions. Since we can't compete on quality with AI narration and competing on price also doesn't look to be viable, what else can we do that we think would be attractive to the readers? Because a reduced cost of producing audio may be attractive to us, but ultimately, if there is no market for it, then it won't be successful. You can produce an AI-narrated audiobook and sell it on your website for 99 cents because it only costs you $600 to produce in total. But I can tell you that there are already plenty of authors who have human-narrated audiobooks that they produced for much more or that they narrated themselves, and they're giving those books away on their website or on YouTube. There's got to be something in it for the reader. The only place where I can see AI narration make inroads in audio is to make available books of a large back catalogue that otherwise would never be available in audio. But even so, audio buffs are probably going to balk at the AI narrated tag. You might do it for people with accessibility issues, and those people already know how to use the Read to Me functions on the various apps. This is going to be a built-in feature of many reading apps, where you can even choose the voice that is reading to you, and a lot of people are going to have different preferences. It may be an option for the many books and different languages that would otherwise never be available, but I always find it a bit funny when people talk about other languages as if the readers of those languages have a diminished mental capacity. Of course, someone who wants their audiobooks to be in Afrikaans is not going to want to listen to a computer read it to them. They will just wait until a narrator does it for them, or if they're really desperate, they will get their software to read it out for them. I don't really see a huge market there either. A new technology will jump into a place where it solves a problem. And with a lot of audiobooks already on the market and more coming out all the time, listeners are really not desperate for choice. If there are no audiobooks, they will listen to podcasts. These are people who are fans of the audio format. They are unlikely to embrace AI narration in a huge way. If you put out a book in AI... At the current level of technology, you'll put out a book that many audiobook fans will think is of inferior quality, that didn't save you that much money to produce, and you can't even compete on price either. Honestly, I see the main avenue for usefulness of AI narration in the realm of accessibility, making articles and blog posts available through audio at the click of a button for people who can't read or don't have the time to read. From the narrator's point of view, most narrators very strongly resist the idea of AI narration. The more forward-looking of them have created their own voice double to help them with their edits. Probably some of them also use that voice double to help them with their narration, but to be honest, an experienced narrator will find it quicker to just re-record an offending section. They are actors and they prefer doing this over fiddling with sound technology. Where does this leave the author? If you have high hopes of generating your books and audio with the click of a button for next to no cost, I think you need to check your expectations. I very much doubt it is ever going to be like that. There may be a possibility for AI narration to insert different voices in your manuscript and create a multicast production but it's going to be neither cheap nor quick. People say that the technology will get better, and it will, but because you're listening to a performance, I don't think AI narrated audio is going to take over the world for quite a while. AI assisted audio, yes, but it is not something that the author will see, but rather something that a narrator will use to speed up the process and make it more efficient. So there you go, those were my thoughts on the current state of AI narration. In the next episode, I will return to craft and talk about point of view.